guys I am back and I'm here with baby Georgia I haven't done a video of her in a long time she had been sort of tucked away in storage and then when I was um, looking for um, one a, a paradise galleries baby that I am going to be selling uh, we are letting go of our queen bee um, I came across her and I just I, I, I knew she was around I just hadn't found her in a while so it was like you know, it was so nice to see her again and I thought I would do a video to change her um, and for those of you guys who do not know um, who baby Georgia is she is the Ashton Drake partial silicone baby uh, the little Livy sculpt and she's adorable <laughs> I have her on a new body um, I have a I, I don't think I filmed a video where I put her on her new body but um, it's it's not too hard to do. I do have a video of when I put um, Tasha onto a new body, so definitely check that out if you guys are interested. But I wanted to go ahead and change her and also chat about a topic I actually saw on Kelly Girl's uh, channel about you know losing the bond. And this was also on, uh, I think her name is Emily, Emily's channel, uh, R-E-B-X-O-R-N, Re Reborn, but with like an X in the middle. <laughs> so um, definitely check out their videos. I'll put links below. But yes, I thought it was a great topic. And the topic was about, you know, losing the bond with our babies. And I, I know I filmed a video recently about just sort of going through this phase of like not being as into the hobby and, um, and I guess like, I, you know, I kind of wonder like, does that mean that I've lost my bond? You know, I don't know that it does. I mean, for me, like I do have my babies, most of my um, dolls kind of put away and tucked away. So I don't see them sort of day in, day out. And I do know that like when I do pull them out, it's not like I look at them and think, oh, I'm not like interested in them anymore. Oh, by the way, I'm going to change her into this sleeper while we chat. I just thought this would look really cute. It's, it's, um... It's by Lovable Friends. I think I got this from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure. It looks a little large, but it is a zero to three month size. So let's see if it'll fit her. So, yeah, so I, so it's not that I don't love my dolls anymore, but it's just the desire to interact with them, you know, hasn't been as strong. And, you know, especially with certain babies, you know, I haven't felt, you know, that desire to like, pick them up and that sort of thing and um yeah and I don't know what to make of that I, I feel like it kind of comes in waves because sometimes I'll feel like you know some, sometimes I just won't have that desire and then other days like I'll walk by and just be like I'll just like want to want to pick them up and hold them I think some of it may be just due to like you know just the familiarity I guess like once you've had that doll in your collection for a little while and the newness has sort of worn off you know just um, yeah like and again I don't know if it's like the, that the bond is lost but I think it's more um, it's a little bit like you know when you become an old married couple <laughs> um, versus when the relationship is like new and fresh that's sort of my best analogy that you know, when, um, when we first get that baby home, there's that newness, there's that excitement. Um, and I think that, you know, sometimes we can maybe mistake that for a bond, but I, I do know that I, I do also feel like there's some dolls that I've had them in my collection for a long time. And I, you know, I feel like that, that bond has kind of deepened over time as well. So, and then there are some dolls, and, and when we talk about Bond, you know, I think Emily explained it really well, but when we talk about Bond, it's just, you know, feeling um, an attachment to that to that baby, um, feeling, yeah, just that baby evokes an emotion in you. Um, so, yeah, and I guess, like, you know, if the Bond has lost or if it's faded, I don't, for me, I don't, it doesn't necessarily mean that I, it's time to sell the baby. I think it, it depends, like, because I can enjoy um, dolls in my collection for different reasons. Like, there's some I might just enjoy really looking at, and then there are others that I really enjoy cuddling and holding, and others that I enjoy dressing in different outfits and then just sitting and, and admiring them. And I do enjoy collecting all sorts of dolls, so... There are a lot of other types of dolls, you know, that are not um, reborns that, you know, are purely just display dolls, and I and I kind of enjoy them from from that perspective. 
And then there are others that are like, I would say, you know, you know, I have for, you know, they're just sentimental to me. Um, there's a baby that I painted. Her name is Sabrina, who um, I thought about selling at one point and then I just couldn't do it. Like, I, I don't know. I just felt, yeah, I felt like she was just meant to stay here. So, and then there are others that, you know, I, I guess like when I, when I know the way I know when the bond, um, is, uh, I guess not there is when I look at the doll and I feel just complete indifference. Um, yeah. And I've have had that with like a couple of dolls in my collection that I've sold. Like I remember like my Evelyn, um, she was in a sleep baby, the Evelyn sculpted by Cassie Brace, really cute baby, but I just like didn't feel any emotions, I guess when I saw her interacting with her. By the way, I'm just going to quickly <laughs> move my camera down so you guys can see how adorable Georgia is. And by the way, and sorry to digress, but I just want to show you how cute her hair is. Um, she does have rooted hair. Oops. Sorry guys, just like a little spare piece of thread. <laughs> She's really adorable, you guys. Um, yeah, and I, I enjoy um, these Ashton Drake silicones. I really do. I have two. I have her and I have Tasha. But um, let me pick her up. Hello, sweet girl. She's really cute. And even though she looks, she she's very dolly looking. Like, I don't, I don't think she would fool anybody. But, like, what I love about her is just the way she feels. Like, her silicone um, and, and just her cloth body. Like, I think she's a great... And I, and I also just enjoy the fact that she wasn't that expensive. So, you know, I'm able to enjoy her and, you know, cuddle her and not like worry about her that much and worry about things happening to her. So I've had her for like a year now and, you know, silicone is still, you know, in great shape and, you know, I, I haven't noticed any flaws or anything like that. So, but we'll see how she does over time. Cause I've, I have heard some people have said the Ashton Drake silicone is tin silicone and it will disintegrate over time. So I guess that, you know, I guess I'll just kind of have to see how the silicone holds up. But so far she and Tasha are both doing quite well. Um, so yeah, there, I guess there have been those babies that like, I, I look at them and I don't, they don't really elicit much of an emotion. Whereas there are other dolls in my collection, like and baby Lynn, you, you all know is my favorite. And you know, I, I don't take her out all that often. I think I'm a little paranoid about handling her too much, which is silly because I should really just enjoy her. But um, when I do take her out, every time I take her out, it's like I've rediscovered her again in a way. And so, and I just fall in love all over again. So that she is the baby that I definitely like the most deeply bonded to. Um, and I guess like for me, the bar for like, if it's a silicone baby that I've spent a lot of money on, um, I feel like that bond definitely has to be there. Otherwise it's kind of just too much money tied up in that doll. And I think that was also one of the reasons for me, um, that, you know, I've decided to let Kylie go, um, my uh, silicone Natalie by Izzy Zhao, just because like she's pretty new. So I haven't had as much time to bond with her, but I have two other babies, three other babies coming this year. And I, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Like I, um, I think objectively, she's just an absolutely beautiful baby, but, um, I don't tend to bond as well with sleeping babies. Like for me, the awake babies, I don't know. It's maybe it's because I can like really look at them in the eyes. Like even with, um, Georgia here, like just something about the expression of the baby just really draws me in versus, um, when the baby is asleep, I'm not as bonded, you know, generally speaking, it, it the, it's a little harder for me to bond. So so that's something I've learned from, for myself. I do also agree. Um, I think Kelly and uh, Emily both said the statement about having a larger collection does make it, I think, harder to bond, um, you know, or have as deep bonds because for me, um, as you guys have seen, I like to rotate my collection. I like to, uh, take turns with different babies. Like each time I film a video, I try to think, oh, okay, who's a baby that I haven't done a video with in a little while. And then I'll film a video with that baby. So I'm kind of taking turns, um, versus if every day I spent time with the same doll very consistently, I would feel, probably feel more attached to that baby. Just like, um, 
yeah, just, you know, just like, for example, Audrey has this little stuffed cat named Jelly. Um, some of you guys who met her at the doll show got to meet Audrey's little cat, Jelly. She's very attached to this cat. And um, she brought it to school, lost it. She um, left it uh, on a table at lunchtime. And then when she came back to, to, to get it, it was gone. And she was just heartbroken, just cried and cried and cried. And, um, and yeah, no, I, I think there are those dolls that like, if something were to happen to them, you know, you would feel that like in your heart, like that your heart's getting ripped out of you or something. And, um, I, and I think it's just that, you know, just that you care about it a lot. Um, yeah. And, and I think for me too, like I've kind of also realized like we have, I just have so many dolls and like all these paradise galleries dolls. So that I'm going to just try to slowly let go of, um, you know, quite a few of them just because they, they, they aren't getting any love and attention. We've kind of just stored most of them away just cause we don't have the space to display them all. And, um, and I still really enjoy reborns, but I think, but I also need to, um, you know, I, but I also need to just, be mindful of space as well because I, I, you know, I don't have unlimited space to store these dolls. So, so it's just something I've been thinking about a little bit, but yeah, no, I, I do think, um, I'm trying to think if there's a baby that I felt very, very strongly bonded to at the beginning. And then over time that bond sort of lessened. And I think, yeah. And I think there have been some, like, for example, um, or, or there's, or, yeah, like for example, my indie, you know, I, I definitely felt like there was a period of time when I was, I felt very bonded to that baby. Um, and you know, she has, she has since been sold, but, um, and left the nursery, but you know, I, I guess over time as new dolls came into the nursery, I just found myself drawn to her less. So, um, yeah. And I guess, you know, maybe, um, you know, for those of us, for those of you ladies who have silicone babies or very expensive reborns, do you worry about losing that bond and having, you know, so much money tied up in certain dolls and then, yeah. And then, you know, in terms of selling those dolls, not being able to, uh, you know, like losing money on, on those sales or something like that. I don't know if anybody else like feels that way, but, um, but yeah, I do feel like when it's silicone, the bar is pretty high. Like the doll just has to be one that you, you just absolutely love and, um, and adore be, to spend that kind of money and to have that much money tied up in a doll. So, um, anyway, I was just thinking about that and, um, I, uh, yeah, I thought it was a great topic, a really, really interesting topic. And I, and I feel like I've just scratched the surface on it, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Like, you know, just losing the bond. Has that happened to you before? What do you feel like affects our ability to bond with the baby? You know, is it the length of time we've had it? Is it, um, is it just the, is it the number of babies we have in our, our collection? Um, does our love get diluted when we have too many dolls? Um, so Anyway, I would I would love to um, hear your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for watching, and George is gonna say bye to you all. <laughs> and she is so cuddly, you all. I, I I just think she's adorable. So let me show her one more time, and we are gonna say goodbye to everyone. <laughs>